trip to New York City. Uh, today is Thursday. I think it's January 9th. And this is Cambridge, Ontario. And I'm using my uh, Myo My View dash cam. The one I tried yesterday, that uh, extreme cam, did not meet my expectations. And uh, many of you, our viewers, using uh, Android and Mac. Yeah, many of the Mac users were having trouble with the sound and me personally I really did not like that tiny screen it's impossible to read anything on it unless you're an eagle or maybe 10 years old I don't know like my eyesight is okay I don't wear glasses but on that screen I had to hook it up to a TV just to be able to access the menu and uh, like you remember how the the year was all wrong is because you cannot see it now this my view I just hooked it up in the car and I'm using the internal mic because this one has no port for the external mic and some guys were saying why don't you buy an external mic well to use that you need to have a port like your device must have the capability to support the external mic it's an expensive option you know so even though the price Thank you, I guess. And I booked a hotel in Scranton, Pennsylvania, two hours away. So I'm leaving today on Thursday in case there's some bad weather on the route. And uh, then early Saturday, I'm gonna stay there for two nights. And I got some, I got one free night because I, I used my uh, Wyndham Rewards points. And I'll pay just, well, I think it was either 45 bucks or 50 bucks for the second night. And then Saturday morning, I'm gonna do a big trek, a quick trek to uh, New York City. Take the exit right, Highway 401 eastbound towards Toronto. Then take the highway. And I found parking, which I was worried about. Turns out, right on the same uh, street as uh, West 16th uh, Street in Manhattan. There was a public parking. After one kilometer, keep left. And I found them on Google Maps. And it had their website. And so I went to the website and I saw that you can print out a coupon. Uh, it's uh, $19 for the weekends. It gives you 24 hours uh, parking. So I used my mobile printer, printed that out, so now I'm pretty sure that I won't have problems with parking, of course, unless there's no space. Left, Highway 401 eastbound. And right now we're traveling on 401, just as I did many times in my transport truck. And I'm heading to the border with the US. It's Follow good. Highway 401 eastbound towards Hamilton for 16 kilometers. To the border in Fort Erie, Ontario, where the uh, Buffalo is on the other side. But at least now I can travel in the left lane, I can travel fast, I can pass trucks, and uh, I like my car. I really love it.
pulls a trailer for a French company over there. His wife works for a Walmart. And the guy has no hobbies. All he wants to do, but he has a house. So financially, he's in pretty good shape because this is his second house. And he's like 10 years younger than you, maybe five years younger. And his first house went up in price. So when they bought this one, they put down like 50 or 100,000 bucks, you know, so it probably will be paid off in like 10 years. But the guy is miserable. He hates his job, trucking. He always looking for something something else to do. Like he wanted to go to uh, be a customs officer, you know, at the border, but uh, his language skills are very poor. And when I ask him, what do you do when you're home? He says, oh, geez, I have all these movies in Russia that we get from uh, Russia, you know, like uh, latest uh, Russian uh, crime thrillers uh, with Russian actors in Russian. And he says, oh, I have this nice sofa and I grab a beer or wine and we just watch movies with my wife. So that's all he does. And so he has no interest in uh, cars or trucks or, you know, doing upgrades or mods to your car to make it faster. Uh, when I told him what I did with my car, he said, why would you want to do that? You know, like when I changed my muffler, I put in cold air intake, I drill holes in my uh, plastic insert under the left headlight. Uh, headlight. He doesn't understand this. It's like, but he just bought a new car, but he just keeps it factory. You know, so this guy, I say, hey, I'm going to New York City. After one kilometer, go straight ahead. Yeah, I said, I'm going to New York City in my car. And his first question is, why? <laughs> Jeez, right? Some people just don't understand, you know? Like, why? Because I'm tired of my transport truck, because my car sits at home for three weeks or four weeks at a time. And it's a quiet, fast, fuel efficient, comfortable, uh, very enjoyable vehicle. And that's for me a kind of a relaxation. This is my hobby. I like to travel. I like to drive, especially small vehicles that do slightly better than six miles per gallon or four miles per gallon, you know? Follow Pathway Q towards Port Erie for 41 kilometers. Yeah, I love it. I love this car. I love my Spintec muffler. You know, it's it feels like a sports car, you know, like after the truck. I can drive in any lane I want. I can go fast, you know. So I just think that you know you gotta make your life interesting. What I'm trying to say is that money is not everything, you know. If you don't like your job, do something about it, you know. All right, I reached uh, the border. This is a duty free on the Canadian side. I just put in my um, the address for the hotel in Scranton. Turns out from here it's uh, 450 kilometers. So exactly four and a half hours basically if I drive at 100 kilometers an hour. What is it? 240, probably 270 miles. And now all I gotta do is count my money. One, two, three, four, five. Five bucks US. <laughs> the rest is on the cards and uh, prepare my IDs and also the uh, the course in New York City they send me a email confirmation for you know for the enrollment and I printed it out and I'm gonna show it because sometimes they want to see like as as proof that you're really going where you say you're going you know because the last thing they want to do at the border is uh, let you come in when you and they ask you where are you going and you say hey I'm just going shopping where well I don't know I'm you know just to the first big town and then I'll see what kind of shops they have there <laughs> if you say that that they can turn you around you know like honestly that's what I learned from crossing the border so many times that that it's always useful to have some kind of a real destination you know, so I have this course and then also I made a reservation at the hotel and I have the address of the hotel you know so which means that I'm really going where I'm going because if they don't believe me they can always call the hotel and ask hey have you, do you have a reservation for Mr. Dratchev here because he claims he's gonna be there all right oh and I bought a ticket 
now we have this uh, cash for life it used to be 1000 bucks a week now we can win uh, 3000 bucks a week maybe I'll win something you never know because uh, tomorrow is my uh, birthday and this trip is a gift and as I mentioned you gotta have hobbies you know you cannot just drive your truck and then sit on a sofa and watch movies you know <laughs> like some people I know but of course when you're in Canada <laughs> there's no escaping the Tim Hortons but I already had coffee from Starbucks this morning you know I didn't want to drink it but I just this week you know I'm off the wagon basically but I had a grand day so that's 210 mil 210 mil of caffeine which is much less than a small cup of dripped coffee has but that was my only cup so now I just stopped and got uh, I saw they have nice uh, herbal tea and I said how many bags you put in a large cup and just as I su suspected she said uh, two and I said can I mix them and she said sure so so I got a honey lemon, one bag, and and some blueberry white tea. I never tried it. I tried white tea, but I never tried a blueberry. You know. And the the flavor, like the the, the smell inside the kai is amazing. And uh, I bought some rum rum and at the duty free and that's the beauty of driving a car you know you don't have to worry about having uh, you know you cannot buy liquor right when you drive a big truck after 400 meters keep right then keep left and this is the peace bridge which I crossed many many times before in my transport truck so uh, I don't know if you guys can see the Buffalo skyline it'll probably be visible here but when I'm driving a truck, I always have to stay in the curb lane. Yeah, and go there towards those uh, signs that say commercial traffic. Like here, cars go this way. And I gotta switch my cam. I don't want any more, uh, any more trouble. Man, this is I-90 East. I just left Buffalo. After crossing the border, I am heading towards uh, Syracuse. Uh, the weather's nice, minus five Celsius, beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break. This is exit 43. I'm still in New York on I-90, and from here it's uh, 300 kilometers to Scranton, Pennsylvania. And a couple of miles ahead, there's. Uh, those nice uh, tollway rest areas with McDonald with uh, Starbucks, you know, Asparo. I like I like those meatballs. 